Hi there, my name is Minamira and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I'm planning just another draw with me slash paint with me. Um, I drew these last night and this one I really want to paint. But I think I'm going to first draw a couple more things on this page before I decide to paint it. So I'm not honestly quite sure what to draw. <laughs> well, I already have pearly yellow on that side. Might as well add the other one to this side. Fun little life update, I finally got my license. I can finally drive from point A to point B, except for I do not own a car. Um, I'm honestly not sure if I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, I did have a car. It was a beautiful blue PT Cruiser. But the sad thing is, we took it to the mechanics and it costed way too much in repairs just for the basic repairs from what they found on a quick in inspection alone would have been more than I make in a month. So for me, that's way too much because I need to actually be able to pay for it. But, my dad has a plan. Um, I'm not quite sure what the plan is. He won't tell me anything, so <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. Uh, for all I know, he could be committing murder. <laughs> I'm not gonna joke about that, actually. Um, but I, I just don't know what the plan is. No one, no one tells me Jack. Anyways, I'm currently just drawing one of the triplets because we have Perleo. We have, well, I haven't named this one yet. I think his name's going to be Charlie. Charlie. And then the other one, his name is, well, I don't know either, so. Fun fact about them, uh, they are essentially a made-up family with my self-insert character just because, eh, they're triplets. It's fun. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't draw melds. For some reason that's like all I've been struggling with lately is just melds. I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who recently. And so far I have to say the ninth Doctor is my favorite. I mean yeah, the tenth Doctor is amazing because I mean it's David Tennant, but at the same time, the ninth classic, OG. Uh, not really classic or OG, the beginning class would be way, way back then. Um, I did try and watch, like, the original series of Doctor Who, like, the 60s one. However, I could not. It was seriously hurting my eyes to try and watch the black and white. Uh, I know I should be used to black and white, but that extent was just painful for my eyes. I really do want to watch it because I want to get a lot of the background of the stories. I want to figure out like a lot of the fandom's 
jokes and stuff, and a lot of that stems from the original. Um, some of the jokes are seriously just saying, Oh, ten, your nine is showing. Oh, like, fourteen. No, that's the same as ten. Bleh. Thirteen, your twelve is showing. And just saying that their previous incarnations' behaviors are showing through them. But, yeah, I would love to actually watch it. So far, my favorite companion is Rose Tyler, but that's mostly because that's so far the only... Like, I'm so far only in the Rose Tyler sort of section. Uh, so that could change when I move on to different ones. Um, I think I will like 13 and her companion. I honestly don't know the name of her companion. But based on the short, like, little compilations I've seen on YouTube, I think I will enjoy that series. Like, that one. Although, technically, they are only supposed to have 12 incarnations. Glam Lords, that is. Um, oh well, who cares? I don't. <laughs> I have something to watch. That's all I care about. Yeah. Still in my self appointed solitary confinement. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that um i think i have mentioned the fact that like we're currently in renos and that i'm in the basement for now uh but i've started calling it my self-appointed um isolation and stuff just because it's kind of fun to refer to like that sorry i need tea i've seriously only just woke up and you can probably hear my voice that I'm getting a little bit of a sore throat. I'm trying to nurse it so I can actually work tomorrow because if I don't work tomorrow, I'm only getting like less than 200 bucks this week. And compared to my usual 500, that friggin' sucks. So I need to nurse my throat, get it back to health. Get it all good, so I can work tomorrow. Actually, I don't. Oh, I don't think tomorrow is a good shift. I think I'm only working till. Well, I think I start at four thirty tomorrow. Ugh, this week is awful for hours. I hate it. They had me at full time hours, and now I'm back at twenty hours per week, and it's like, come on, boss, why? I have bills to pay. I can't pay bills off of 200 bucks a week. It it bloody sucks. Um, I know that some of my friends, they make less than me, but they're still in high school. And I need this money so I can buy my Doctor Who magic cards. That's part of my bills I want to pay. Um, I also just have to buy a lot of magic supplies. Because me and my friend, we're getting into it again. We used to play it when we were younger. Uh, but I'm trying to get the Doctor Who sets so I can play Commander with my dad. Well, not with my dad, but uh, with my brother when the Fallout set comes out. Because the whole reason I'm getting back into this is just so I can play it with my brother. Because he sent me the Mothman deck from the Fallout series. And now I'm like, I want to play as a Mothman. So... And he was originally like, hey, if you build a deck based on this, we can play together. So I'm trying to get back into magic so I can play games with my brother. Another fun thing that's happening is the same friend I'm playing magic with. I'm just going to start referring to him as EI or something. I don't know. Uh, I think I referred to my other friend by name. So maybe I'll just refer to him by name. But yeah, me and my friend, same one I'm doing magic with, we're starting a D and D group, and it's really fun to try and work around it because we have to get our boss's approval for days that we can have off to play magic. Well, not magic, D and D, and it honestly kind of sucks because she just would not give him Thursday off, which is the one day a week I have off, 
and I'm currently waiting to see back if I can have Monday nights off. Because if I can have Mondays off, then, like, Monday nights off, then we can have our meetings on those nights. Plus, if I have Mondays off, then I have another kind of regular night that's always off. Because so far, I have not worked Thursday since asking for it off. Which is pretty good. Although, I did tell her I just couldn't work Thursday nights, but, eh, alright. Whatever. It's one of my... She's made it into one of my two days off a week I get off. This week I have three days off and very short shifts and it sucks. I do not like weeks like this. So I'm just trying to clean up their faces. Kind of got smeared with stuff when I just closed it last night. I want to paint this also so I can like do my sealant, get all of them all protected so they stop smearing everywhere especially now that there's these two on this page which this is a horrible drawing of the 10th doctor um <laughs> i was bored and the drawing of pearl originally was supposed to be rose tyler and then i gave up and it was like this looks more like pearl i'm just gonna make it pearl so it's pearl which for the context of this this is my OC Pearl, not Pearlescent Moon, because I do draw Pearlescent Moon sometimes. I think I need to add something in this corner here. Nah, I think I'll keep it like that kind of balance. Plus two characters and then this one in the middle. And I do want to paint him, uh, so I'm just going to use this, this set. It's the Hemi Wash Jelly thing. I don't know how to explain it, but... I like it. It it does its job. I do want to get like the Windsor and Newton or the Holbein gouache because I feel like those will probably work better. But for now, it it does its purpose. And then for sets, I just use the Golden Maple. These things I got them from Amazon, and then I also use just. Filbert number two brush and a Filbert number six brush, which are crispy apparently. And then I do have another one somewhere, but I don't know where it went, and I honestly do not feel like dragging it out. And I'm using incredibly dirty water because I refuse to actually do things that will help me in the long run. Why is this one so liquidy already? I don't know. Anyways, should be the right. Yep, it's the right color. Okay. Yeah, um, this is one of the things that signify I have been watching Doctor Who recently. Um, because this is from the episode The Lonely Child, I want to say. Yeah, I think that's the episode. Um, where it's like the kid in the gas mask going around being like, Are you my mommy? And, yeah, I like that episode. It's quite nice. I liked the introduction of Jack. That was pretty nice. Little gay disaster that man is. <laughs> Weirdly enough, he's American. It'd be kind of cool if he was Canadian. <laughs> wonder if they ever do introduce Canadians to the show. I don't think they do. I don't know. I'll find out through watching it. Also, I do not use this paint the way it's supposed to be used. I kind of use it like it's watercolor. Um, sometimes I do do more opaque washes. Um... I think this page is a pretty good example of that, like the black in the background. This will remain unfinished. Probably just gonna stick something on top of it. I don't feel like drawing her anymore. I originally I was drawing her because I think that yeah, that's pearlescent moon. 
Yeah, because that was when last week's Secret Life episode came out and she brought up the warden. So I was originally going to draw her with a warden in the background, but then I said, nah, too much effort. That's already fucked up. Ah, shh. Language. It, it's already bad, so I just decided not to finish it. So I have no idea if you guys are actually able to see the sketches on camera. Um, I am hoping you guys can. But thankfully this is the month that we do our phone trade-in. Because my dad has that plan. So we're able to just be like, yo, we want new phones. And they're like, sick, give us your old ones. At least we can kind of do that. Kind of fun to do. But I don't know when we're doing it. I'm hoping it's sometime soon so I don't have to keep filming with this one. This one sucks. Does not work very well for the purpose I'm using it for. But, I don't know, it's whenever we find the time. Probably whenever I'm not working and whenever he doesn't have curling and doesn't have appointments and... Bleh. Actually, I think if I ever have a weekend off, that's when we're doing it. Who knows? Maybe we'll do it on Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. I don't think we'll do it on Christmas Eve. I'm going out to my mom's parents that day. I would like to maintain a relationship with them. That would be very nice, especially since I love my little cousins. I love my grandparents. I love my aunt. My uncle's kind of cool. <laughs> but I would love to keep up a relationship with them, keep going to Christmases with them. It was always when I was younger that we would do like either Christmas Eve or Boxing Day with one of my grandparents and then Christmas Day with the other one and we would alternate which family we spent time with each year. Um, however, things have kind of changed because um, my dad's getting married, which is very good because he was very sad for quite a while until he met her. Now he's happier. I can actually see it on his face that he is he's very happy. But they're getting married, and so we're spending Christmas Day at her parents. And my dad's parents are coming out to there, so the only grandparents I wouldn't see on Christmas Day is my mom's parents, which... Yeah, I'm gonna go out and see them on Christmas Eve. Because it works for everyone else, and I would like to, I would like to keep contact with them. I really love them. I'm honestly not going to spend too much time on this drawing. I just really want to try and get it looking like something. Um, I am aware his hair is like blonde in the show. The kid that started the whole thing, which is who I'm trying to draw. However, I really do not care.
Beautiful. I know that part's silver, but I don't really care. I kind of just want to finish painting them and give Perla like a purple wash around her. Give Charlie a kind of red wash around him. I do want to find a different name for him. I don't really like the name Charlie ever since that stupid show was made. I know a lot of people really love that show, which I'm sure you can kind of guess which one I'm talking about. Um, but honestly, I don't like it. It's not my alley. And honestly, I really dislike it. I did like the comics. I will admit, the comics were very good. The show, not at all. But I did like the comics. The show kind of reminds me of a show for gay people that eventually turned into being made for straight people, which is not the type of series I enjoy watching. However, I do enjoy shows that were made for straight people and then ended up being made for gay people, such as Supernatural. <laughs> oh, that is a great show. Actually. My brother was originally the one who recommended me Doctor Who because of how I had been watching Supernatural. He was like, oh, you like this type of thing? You might enjoy Doctor Who. And he was right. I do enjoy Doctor Who. So, thank you, my dearest brother, for recommending me that show. Because I do really enjoy it. In fact, it's my new hyperfixation which a lot of my friends have noticed because that's all I send them on TikTok is Doctor Who shit. I'm like, yo, bro, you and me, we're like, we're like the doctor and the doctor. Yeah. I, I don't know why I spoke like that. Um, there's a few internet trends going around that are actually kind of cool. Oh, right. I was going to get dressed. I never did that. I'm still in my PJs. I just remembered because I looked down and I'm like, oh, that's what I'm wearing. But yeah, anyways. There's a few trends on TikTok that I do enjoy. I really, really enjoy that one that's like, you look so pretty. Pretty like the sun. I'm not actually going to gonna sing it, but that one's really nice. I like sending those to my friends. I like being like, Yo, bro, you're beautiful. You remind me of this. There was actually one of them that I saw today that made me cry a bit. Um, it was the same trend, but they were saying that they were pretty like the Van Gogh paintings, and yeah, I cried a little bit. That's actually one episode I'm really looking forward to getting to. The Van Gogh episode. That would be a very nice episode to get to. Anyways, I'm currently just doing something that was always a part of the original plan for this piece, is kind of black out the edges around it. Um, Still gonna leave some space so I can do my kind of red wash over here. Cause I enjoy having my characters surrounded by the color that represents them. Oh, I never talked about her. I talked about these two, and I even brought up him. Uh, but this is Viveka. Uh, I created her one day during grade 12 social class because I was bored and I was like, oh, she kind of looks Russian. I'm gonna name her Viveka because I like that name. And now she's kind of just a character that I enjoy drawing. 
So she's my little Russian chick. Um, she used to be a buff lady, but I don't know how to draw muscles. I wish I did. If I knew how to draw them, she would still be buff. But unfortunately, I suck and do not know how to draw muscles. I think the closest I've ever gotten to is my sexy ghost face drawing, which you will see when this sketchbook is done, which I don't know how long that will take because honestly, I'm getting to that point where I just do not want to draw in it. And the only reason I am drawing in it is because I'm bored while watching TV. That's getting to the point where I'm at. Also, sorry I missed Tuesday's upload. I just realized I never brought up why. Um, yeah, basically I just did not film a video and by the time I realized it was like, oh shoot, it's already 12 p.m. I'm just gonna go to sleep. And then it was Wednesday. But I have a video for Thursday at least, which I am filming that like this video on the Thursday I'm uploading it. Um, but I didn't really have a lot of time to do it yesterday, mostly because yesterday was my cleaning house day. So all I was doing yesterday was just cleaning up the kitchen, cleaning up the bathroom, making it look nice, and getting it all ready for D&D on Monday, which hopefully we will do because we need Mondays off. Um, yeah, because we, we really need to get this done, get this figured out. I'm honestly just kind of trying to think of how I'm going to bring up this topic to my boss if she asks, Hey, why do you need to stay off? Like, what's happening? What's the club? And I'll have to explain to her, oh, it's D&D. &D. We're nerds. I don't know why I keep speaking like this. I honestly hate the fact I do. But good news is my dad really enjoys the fact that I'm playing D&D &D and magic. Because to him, it means I'm actually doing things with people. I'm not just working or playing Minecraft. He is very glad that I'm actually hanging out with people. Weirdly enough, though, the friend I'm hanging out with and doing this stuff with is the favorite friend in the friend group. And then my least favorite friend is a kid who did all the exact same things that he, like, that the one they liked did when he was younger. It, it's a little bit craziness. Me and the friend they don't like, we don't we don't get what's happening. We're just like, oh, but he literally did the exact same things he don't like this one for when he was younger. I think part of it is because they see my one friend is growing up to be like some awful person. Kinda like Oh, I'm not gonna actually talk about that. Uh but it's really funny though. Because it's like, yeah, you don't like this friend because he did drugs. But the funny thing is, the friend you like really loves drugs. And we constantly talk about getting drunk. What do you want from us? What do you want from my friends? What is happening? It's like, it's craziness. Honestly, I might cover this one up. I'll just draw a new one on a different page. I don't really like how he just sticks out there. So I'm just gonna cut him out of the page. I don't really care that it's throwing off the balance anymore. I just want it changed. That's all. I do have to be a bit careful because right on this, like on the page behind us, this is the drawing so we did last video. I did go back and paint them some. Um, 
but I do have to be a bit careful with the black because I don't really want that page having like some black on it as you can tell like there it already has some which I do not enjoy I was trying my best to try and get it to be clean a clean border why do I keep talking like that oh my goodness um yeah I did finally mark out like what's in frame and what's not in frame uh, the only bad thing is the palette is currently on the sticky note, so I can't really see, but yeah, whatever. I know that my teacup is slightly in frame, and I'm kind of in like the bottom of the frame, because it's perfectly, the desk is the bottom of the frame, because that's how I like it. And... Eventually, I'll probably play around with some filming angles, figure out what's happening, what I'm doing. But for now, I'm still just going with the straight above kind of angle. Um, actually, one of my favorite creators, I think, if I remember correctly, this was a Sketching with Shay video. But they made a video explaining like, oh yeah, if you want... To create content kind of base it off of how other people create and I really like their content and I like their angles that they use um, but I'm probably not gonna do those kind of angles until my room is like I get my new room and a new phone because I do have a tripod uh, however it just does not work with phones because it's meant for cameras um, which is actually a video I would like to ask if you guys would be interested in. Um, if you guys are still watching this, please, please let me know in the comments if you guys would ever be interested in a tour of my cameras, like of my camera collection, because it's growing. I'm actually getting a new camera tomorrow. The lady is driving out to where I live, and we're gonna, I'm gonna buy a new camera. Um, this one is a Polaroid that I'm buying. Actually, I think it's really cool because the last camera collection I bought was only $200. It had a lot of stuff that should not have been $200. Um, I honestly feel like the lady that sold it to me did not quite know the price of these things because she sold me like a really expensive lens in that bundle and Oh my goodness, and a heavy duty tripod. It was hefty, like it is metal. Completely metal, like maybe two plastic parts. And yeah, I do kind of feel bad because it is her dead grandma's collection, but at the same time, it's like, ma'am, I don't know if you know the value of these things. I'm actually planning the lady that's coming tomorrow to give her 20 bucks instead of 10 bucks like she has on her post because, oh my goodness, I do not know if these people know the value of what they're selling. Um, plus the poor lady, she didn't really get any buyers until she lowered the price to $10. So I'm probably just gonna give her 20 because I feel kind of bad. And it's like, ma'am, this is worth way more than 10 bucks, way worth way more than 20 bucks but my camera collection's growing and yeah I don't know if I said this but yeah it would not be a video until I have my new room and everything unpacked because part of my camera collection is currently packed away but yeah if you guys would be interested in that please let me know um this is a video I would like to make however I don't know if you guys would be interested in it and if you're not interested in it I might just post it on my TikTok which at some point I will link up to here at some point I will tell you guys what it is but not yet I'm not quite ready to do that yet just because currently I don't know what's on it so I need to kind of cleanse it first
here. Yeah, this is where the mini brushes really come in useful. Just doing the little details around them. I did just get rid of his silly hair, but that's fine. Which I actually found out that's what it's called. It's apparently used in anime and manga to signify a silly character. Because it's, I don't know why exactly. But yeah, I figured out that's what it's called. Um, so that was kind of interesting to learn. Honestly, there is a lot of things I am still learning about art. I mean, I've only been like trying to draw for like the past five years. Um, I know I need to do a lot more work with perspective and anatomy and character design, but for now, this is where I'm at. I don't dislike where I'm at, I quite enjoy it actually. I enjoy how my characters look, I enjoy how weird they are. I enjoy how some of them look like normal people and then some of them have like so, such weird just gravity defying things and it's awesome. I love them. They're awesome. I especially enjoy being able to draw things from fandoms I'm in, which is why I'm drawing Doctor Who stuff. Because that's honestly one of my favorite things to do when creating is just drawing whatever I'm interested in them at the moment. That's completely is the whole reason why I got into drawing. One of my oldest drawings I ever found was a drawing of Spider-Man from when I was like five or six. Because we had all of the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man on DVD and I think we had like one Tobey Maguire. And then of course we eventually got the Tom Holland ones but we don't care about those ones. We care about the OGs, which are the whole reason why we're into Spider-Man. Yes. Actually, a few of the people that know me IRL will know that I really like Spider-Man. <laughs> I also really like Minecraft, to the point where I have Minecraft pajama pants and want to buy the Creeper Fridge. <laughs> Uh, only bad thing about the creeper fridge is my dad won't let me buy that. He saw it and he's like, absolutely not. <laughs> At this point, I would only buy it to annoy him. Oh, that's not completely washed off, is that? There we go, that's better. Now we can do purple for Perlio. Where is my spray bottle? I do have a little spray bottle to kind of just spritz the palette with keep the paints moist because um, bad news is they are drying out especially the colors I don't really use like the peach and the oh those are colors I use quite a lot huh. so once I don't use a lot they're still moist ah that's a bad word it's not a swear word but god is it ever a bad word Eventually I will find out more things to talk about during these videos. For now though, you get to enjoy my random blanks of silence. And then eventually, when I figure out how to overlay music on top of this, probably using the iMovie, you get to enjoy some terrible copy free music. That's the only thing that's really stopping me from it, is that the- Oh my god, why do I keep talking like that? Uh, but the only thing that's really stopping me from adding music is I don't know what's copyrighted and what's not. And the thing is, I have very specific music that I like to hear in art videos. 
that I would love to have in my own, but I don't know if those are copyright free or not. Because uh, for all I know, it could be the creators of the channel that made the music. So I do want to find out, okay, can I use this? Can I not use this? before I start doing music stuff in my videos, which honestly is probably the greatest way of going about it, because obviously. But anyways, um, do I have one on hand? Yes, I do. Ooh, not quite yet. Hmm. All right, well, that's not quite dry yet, so I'm going to call this the end of the video, and I will see you guys hopefully next Tuesday with a new upload. If not, feel free to yell at me, feel free to call me a bee. Uh, yeah. Oh my dear, my poor, my poor teacup. It's covered in paint. Uh, oh well. Anyways, yep, this has been Zimidimira, and I am signing off.